The community said a final farewell to a Fultondale teenager and aspiring firefighter today. Shelton Waldrop died Monday after battling cancer. Firefighters from across the area and the country paying their respects today. CBS 42 News reporter Cameron Edgeworth was at those services and is live now in studio with how the community honored Waldrop. Cameron. Jack, first responders held a formal firefighter procession to honor 17 year old Shelton Waldrop. He was an explorer at the Leeds Fire Department, and those who knew him say he'll be remembered for his smile, pure heart, and positive outlook on life. Fultondale High School student Shelton Waldrop laid to rest Friday after battling cancer for three years. Joe Lombardo says Waldrop was his best friend. He told people don't cry, and people would still cry, but I mean, he was there for him. First responders from at least 15 different agencies paid their respects. It doesn't matter where you go, firefighters or family. So this is the, the best respect that we can pay to our family um, through the traditions that have been passed down in the fire service. Irondale Fire Chief Josh McDaniel and Leeds Fire Captain Kyle Shell knew Waldrop as an aspiring firefighter who inspired them. Shell says he knows Waldrop is smiling from above. Shell's is definitely in, in heaven smiling down on us right now. I can just picture a big smile on his face, and uh, he's definitely loving his uniform and uh, all the all the big commotion made for him. He's definitely loving it. McDaniel says Waldrop made a positive impact on everyone he interacted with. He hopes that same spirit will live on. Shelton's smile came from his faith. No matter what he was facing, I think that's the biggest thing that he would want for us to take from that. I think that if everyone that Shelton impacted can remember that, then then his work here was was for something. Make-A-Wish Foundation granted Wadrop a wish two years ago. He met the first responders in New York City who worked the day of 9-11, and today some of those responders attended his funeral. Reporting live in the studio, Cameron Edgeworth, CBS 42 News. Local coverage you can count on.